Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I'm really excited about the fragrance blend that I'm about to share with you today. I'm calling it Pure Joy. A lot of you have been emailing and some of you, a lot of your recipes, which I do want to be able to get to in due, due course. This recipe I have been developing for a long, long time and I'm calling it Pure Joy because it just smells like pure joy. It's uplifting and it's fantastic. There's several ways that you can go about it, but let's just come over here and have a look at the recipe which I've already printed out for you. It's 100 mils of a hoba, which is actually, it's not an oil, it's actually a wax, or you could use fractionated co uh, coconut, or you could put, do your own blends, do your own research as to whether you want to put more alcohol in it to make an OD perfume. I like the oils because they stay on much longer. Um, you also need a teaspoon, a one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Now to get my vanilla, this is what I did. I got, and here it is here, this is the vanilla that I've got. Now that's got alcohol in it. So it's a matter of putting your alcohol into there. Just put it into a wee jar like so. And then what you do is you get your vanilla bean and cut that. In fact, I'm going to cut it again. I'll cut it into four. This is like this is how you extract the fragrance from it. Put the lid on that and put that, make sure it's well sealed, and put that into a cool place and leave it. Mine to get to this stage here. Did I put a date on it? Oh, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I actually used gin because I don't like gin and I didn't have any alcohol so I thought that would do. I did that in September 2016 and I've used quite a bit of it. The smell when you take the lid off is perfect, perfect, perfect vanilla extract for me. So that's what you can, that's one of the things that you can do. Now it's also, as I said, it's also got the, uh, it's got rose in it. Um, now let's just talk about the rose. Rose absolute costs so much money you can use rosewood and you can use rose anatolia i think that's the name of it you can use that or you can use a rose fragrance oil um, i've done it three ways with all of these and i've i actually prefer the rose wood to be using and by the way before I get, get any further I just have to thank Pure Nature and there's a thing somewhere down there linked that you can go through to their site the recipes are there and you can buy whatever fragrances or essential oils and all sorts of things there now it's also got um, four drops of musk now you don't get you're not allowed to use musk stuff anymore so it's it's not organic organic it's a, um, a blend that somebody's made up for me it's also got the sandalwood it's got the jasmine it's got the nearly which I absolutely love and I've put aniseed into it I know it sounds a bit weird plus I've also put the vitivere into it now when you're blending these make sure that you've got plenty of fresh air and where possible wear gloves because you don't want any of the pure essential oils getting anywhere near your hands right into what I do is I've already blended it because there's nothing worse than watching somebody counting stuff up. I did that the other day. In fact, I did that nearly two weeks ago and I've just put it in a cool place into a wee bottle. Make sure that you um, date it and put on the bottle what it is. Uh, as I've discovered, you think you're going to be remembering, but, you know, life is busy and, hey, we forget all sorts of things. Right, into there, I'm going to... I do half at a time and I've said I've put 200 mils or roundabout go into the net and have a look yourself to decide what you want to use I'm going to use the fractionated coconut because I'm just in love with it put that into the container to start with be very careful that you don't overfill it because there's nothing worse than it going all over the place and there was something I needed to tell you about that but I can't remember what it is and then I'm just going to put half of this into here is that half yep that's about half a little bit more so that goes into there like that so that there is in its purest form now take that off there and put the wee screw top back on or you could put it into a roller bottle Give that a good shake and put that into your bag. Um, you might like to leave that a couple of weeks before you use it again. The longer you leave it, the better it is. And a couple of weeks ago, I showed you how to do a fragrance for a cologne for a man. Oh my goodness, it is divine. Do find it and do give it a go. So for all recipes, just go to Pure Nature. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I'm looking forward to hearing your comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you another day. Oh, that's so good.